I was hoping that this would last longer. Hi travellers, I'm Ian's daughter Laleco, so I just wanted to do an update on my it luggage. So if you've been following along, you will have seen that I was in Europe and I only took carry on, which was fantastic. However, look at this wheel, and it's just the one. The other three are totally fine. Half black tread, and it's not much still available and that is a result of oh, so gross to be touching these well I mean this is not gonna last long we did a review of this kit suitcase last year and I will put the link in the description box below for it I was so excited because it's lightweight it's fabric rather than the hard what is it poly something it luggage that's its whole thing is it's light also it has a 10 year warranty with it which I thought was fantastic until I'm making this video more that if you are considering buying this luggage that just the wear and tear unfortunately has not been that great actually I know it's because I was in Eastern Europe and a lot of the streets are paved with the cobblestones I was going through train stations yes I flew obviously there and back again I did bus trips as well so really, I wasn't at all taking care of it. I wasn't, I don't want to have to baby my luggage. That's kind of ridiculous. Pull it. So it's on two wheels, so I'm not sure why the other wheel has really taken a hit. So my issue then becomes, now aside from the fact we're sitting here during the outbreak, <laughs> the issue becomes where to get it repaired. And I would have the same problem, and that's because I move places. I would have the same problem if I bought the away luggage, is I have to send it back to the States to get repaired. Great that these things are covered in their warranty, like this definitely, this wheel issue definitely is covered. I had it a little over a year at this point, but it's definitely this last trip to Romania and Bulgaria. I do have videos from there, so if you're wanting to check them out, please do so. I will also link them in the description description box below but in terms of being able to get it fixed this is where the problem is and I can't I can't resolve that I'm here in Kuwait there's nowhere I mean even if it was not outbreak times getting it repaired is a hassle a massive hassle I have a larger suitcase my bigger one which I've had for years is the Samsonite and I'm inclined now as a result of this experience to perhaps just go with getting a Samsonite as the carry-on because ultimately I don't want to have to keep buying cheaper suitcases so I'm really disappointed that this is this has now come to pass I guess it also depends where your home base is as to what's the most useful way of doing it I guess I'm going with Samsonite because I've had wheels fixed and insides fixed over the years anywhere where I happen to be and maybe that's just more because it's a brand that has brick and mortar stores and that would be the case here in Kuwait as well and it annoys me because the Samsonite ones are expensive <laughs> and they are really heavy for a carry-on if you've seen any of my videos um, flying between New Zealand or even within New Zealand where we have to pack under seven kgs to fly and then a carry-on is three and a half kgs like what what <laughs> what is that that's my update the rest of it totally fine and I love it so if you do have to live somewhere where you can get it fixed and that's something you should really should look into with the with the luggage but otherwise I still really recommend it it's just whilst on the road as it were even though I don't go anywhere <laughs> even though I'm not moving anywhere at the moment I'm not anywhere where I can get it done so it's a real shame because I actually really have enjoyed it and I do like it ah. so the carry-on luggage issue continues unfortunately